kind of lucky. Yikes! Hmm, but all those marshmallows are here. Oh, right, let's eat. Oh, oh. Clean as a whistle. That's Irish Spring. Fresh and... <whistles> clean as a whistle. I figured out how to carry six beers at the same time. Carry six beers at the same time? Brilliant! It's the leading cause of liver cancer. And of the four million Americans who have it, three million don't even know. Don't let hepatitis C stay hidden. It can be cured. Get tested. To learn more, visit findhepc.com. This is new at 5.30. New hope for people with hepatitis C. A drug made right here in Boston could prevent them from ever having to undergo a liver transplant. pretty uh, uh, tense, uh, anxious time in the company. We're trying to get the, um, ourselves ready, not just um, from a, a wrapping up of clinical trials, but getting ready to organize our submission for our first ever regulatory submission uh, for uh, Dilaprovir, uh, now branded as Incivic. And uh, after a uh, fairly lengthy failed uh, attempt to develop something internally, we had a very short time window to try and say, well, we, we have to get a solution for this. In preparation for the filing of NCVEC, it was determined that we needed appropriate document management practices within Vertex in order to get our submission documentation approved uh, and to ensure that that documentation was produced in a way that's submission ready. We were able to look at the marketplace, uh, look at just enterprise class document management systems that also could do it with an eye towards an ECTA. And in doing that, we turned to a system that we had, Doc Compliance, and saw that uh, that it could, that it looked like it could, it could do what we needed it to do um, to allow us to prepare for an NDA. The pressure was certainly on. It wasn't a very uh, lengthy time window. Uh, prior to uh, working in Vertex, I'd been in consulting and been uh, involved in a lot of systems integrations. So to say that we're going to select a product, uh, implement it, and get people up and comfortable with it in a less than kind of you know, six months-ish time window was, uh, was a lot to ask. We had never done an NDA before. This is brand new for Vertex. It, uh, this is something that has always been a dream for the company, but 
we're not really we're not really sure how we, we think we know how mm -hmm. but we're not really sure when it comes down to it what we're going to do so we didn't certainly didn't want technology to get in the way uh, we really wanted to remove that as as a barrier um, put in a system in place that that could be chewed on for a year leading up to the NDA so it's not like we wanted to put something in as soon as the, the NDA needed to go out we needed time as an organization to know what we could do with it how we could how that technology could allow us to file an NDA um, and we needed to do it quickly as we went through that process QMOS fit pretty well for what we needed we had some questions uh, some some things that we were uncomfortable with but uh, in some early conversations uh, management as they came in uh, and we expressed what the biggest areas of the highest priorities, you know, areas of our concern were. We got some assurances we worked through it together and uh, that we, they would get us there and we'd be able to do what we needed with the tool. Um, the, the great news was that that did happen. We had roughly a year between the time we launched the doc management system to when we submitted and within that time we probably brought in somewhere around 36,000 files into the system that all were at various different stages at the time that we went live but ultimately they were all approved by the time we pulled them in for submission. One of the biggest challenges was migration. We were migrating from really an uncontrolled environment for the documentation where um, you had multiple versions of the same document, didn't know how to marry them together, and it was an effort that spanned, that wasn't just putting the onus on the regulatory operations group, they're, they're getting their documents from clinical, non-clinical, manufacturing, all research, all over the enterprise, and so we had to make sure that those functional areas could provide us the information to say yes this is a document that should go or no this shouldn't go so we had a lot of challenges just in getting the whole enterprise that was involved with this together to look at that QMOS certainly had a role in, in our success in getting the NDA out the door, uh, building on that theme of not having the technology be a barrier. Uh, QMOS and Vertex worked together to really understand what we needed out of the system. Um, yes, we needed document management, controlled document management, but we needed it in a way that made sense to a regulatory operations person, somebody working in the system day in, day out, who was building an ECTD. We didn't want there to be any confusion which document was the document that should go into the NDA, was it approved, what was its status. None of that should be, we didn't want those questions at all to come into play. They go to the system, they know it does what they needed to do, they can find what they need to find, and they know all the information about it. Uh, and so in designing the structure and, and the configuration of the system, to enable that was not something that we just did at Vertex. We, QMOS and Vertex, worked together to figure out how to do that. In 2011 alone, we performed 544 submissions, and we've never had an issue with the system. Um, and that speaks to not only the way that the system works, but the fact that the folks that are using the system are understanding the process enough to be able to get their work done on a day-to-day -day basis. This NDA uh, really was meant to create a cure for hepatitis C patients, especially those that have, have failed previous treatment. And we've since treated 25,000 patients um, since we launched the product this past May. Being the first filing on what is a, by any definition a blockbuster launch drug, uh, you could think about the pressures that were on and, uh, and QMOS as a partner really stepped up to help make sure that happened.
It really meant a lot to the patient population. Um, we, we had been exposed, we as Vertex, had been exposed to people who are Hep C patients, people, people who have failed multiple treatments before, and just their life, what they've had to go through for decades in trying to cure this disease. And we wanted to get it in their hands as quickly as possible. Uh, we just, we just, that, that was what, what we wanted to do. Document exchange between our uh, collaborators has always been there, but it hasn't been, a, you know, to the forefront of issues. It's more how are we going to get approvals around documents and how are we going to get documents stored. We're starting to solve that, and across multiple organizations, um, quality, CMC within quality, document management, uh, regulatory affairs, um, clinical groups. Uh, a lot of these companies, especially at Vertex, because we deal with a lot of outside organizations, we have CROs and CMOs, we are now getting to the fact that we're coming to the realization that we are constantly taking documents and having to pull them out of our repositories, put them into things like Intralinks, um, SFTP them to somebody else, put them in eRooms. And the thing, the, the management around all those different applications and those web applications becomes very cumbersome. Usability is very important. In order to get the users to to embrace the system, they have to be able to 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 move and, and, and complete their activities in a streamlined fashion. And going from a doc compliance to a MyQMOS interface will help um, in the usability aspect, where the users will be able to, to see a lot of information right at their fingertips and, and be able to perform actions um, with more speed and efficiency. Um, going to MyQMOS and starting to leverage that front end will really help. Uh, will be a big win for us to, to be able to, to simplify the user experience. One of the reasons why we started looking at, at MyQMOS is um, user adoption uh, is a lot easier with a, a product that is more intuitive um, and it, it's faster for the users uh, to understand uh, and use um, even not just for uh, users who use it every day, but for users who use it on an occasion. Um, we have issues where you know a user only goes in once a quarter or on a very regular basis to approve something, and they forget the multiple steps that need to be done to create or approve a document. The MyQMOS interface uh, hopefully will be easier for the infrequent users. Our ultimate goal with a regulatory is to provide an authoritative source uh, of our entire catalog of documentation within our system. And we really want to be able to use that source as the official archive for Vertex for our documentation. And that would mean building retention schedules per document um, that we could easily manage uh, as, as we're building the system out over time. Our support model here, uh, we have uh, the QMOS ARA support, uh, which handles our daily support needs, uh, user lockouts, um, folders that need to be created, just the, the daily run-of-the-mill um, support, and that frees up uh, the Vertex resources to work on, on larger projects such as the MyQMOS implementation, um, software upgrades, and, and the like, uh, and that's actually very, very helpful. So the QMOS support team has been very supportive in terms of um, understanding the issues that we are dealing with and, and helping us address those issues and also looking, they're very receptive to uh, receiving enhancement requests um, and, and working with us to build out the use cases of those requests. We really view QMOS as a partner and not a vendor. And I think that we've been able to collaborate with them as opposed to request things from them. And, and it really seems like our relationship is, has grown over the past few years. And we would like to think that we've helped make QMOS a better product.
our business, the way we do business, is evolving. And what we look for at QMOS is to understand where our business is, what are the needs of our customers, and how they can best, how QMOS can help us meet those needs. That's really what we what we look for uh, with QMOS as we, as an organization, look at operations and look at our efficiencies. How does compliance unity play into that? As we look to bring on external collaborators, as we look to build more collaboration, as we become a worldwide organization, how do certain QMOS pieces and technologies play into that and understanding what our needs are so that QMOS can approach us and say, I know this is, a, this is an area of need for you, here's how we can help, as opposed to us saying, here's what some of our problems are, how can you help? That's really something that as we mature, as our needs become more clear that QMOS is a step ahead of us. We're all very aware of what the results of our work um, can mean to a patient and we're all very proud of that work that we've done. Because everyone wants to work together and is, is really wants to collaborate on everything that they're doing and everybody usually gets a piece in something uh, that's directly in, related to delivering that end goal. We just launched one drug and uh, we're launching, getting ready to launch a second drug. Uh, it's, it's an exciting time to be here and uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to work with people that care so much about the community that we're supporting and being able to do what we can to help uh, improve their lives and maybe further improve, uh, increase their chances of uh, living. Uh, more normal uh, life. Um, we interact with people who have Hep C or know people who have Hep C and they'll just come out and talk about it. They find out I work at Vertex and they just offer up this information. They want to talk about it. So to have a small company, not, a, not some well-known large life sciences company, but a smaller company here in Cambridge um, that people know about that comes up in conversations that I don't even start. Uh, is really is really something neat. Um, it's really kind of it's really cool, um, and it's just it, it's it's what's you know what keeps me here uh, after more than eight years. Um, so look forward to more down the road.